Valued at $1 million, it's one of the most expensive vehicles on Guam's streets. We've recently acquired uh, mobile screening vans, and uh, this new van is uh, the first of its kind for the island. It, uh, it's able to screen uh, 20, 40-foot containers, boats, and vehicles. The cargo and vehicle screening system was acquired through the Port Master Plan. Customs X-ray Team Supervisor Lieutenant Franklin Gutierrez says the agency has a memorandum of understanding with the Port Authority of Guam for use of the equipment. Similar equipment is used throughout the United States. We've been running the program for about three months and we've had a great success with the program. We've uh, uncovered uh, multiple uh, violations. Violations include drug-related items to agricultural goods or even weapons and explosives. On average, it takes two customs officers up to four hours to physically inspect a single 40-foot container. Matson's our largest, largest vessel that arrives weekly, and um, that vessel contains anywhere from four to 600 containers every week. And that's not including, that's not including the, the foreign containers. And that's just a domestic container. If, if there was a container that was in question, uh, we would have to hold it and the officers would have to uh, manually inspect the containers. Although we still do that, uh, we're able to um, screen in between the actual screening and the physical inspection and the x-ray kind of falls in between the two. With the new van and the proprietary tech, customs officers are better equipped to catch anomalies and unmanifested goods. When a customer comes to the counter, and uh, makes a declaration of the, the items that are in the container. Um, through scanning, we're able to determine that there are other items that are not declared. By utilizing this technology, we were able to, to um, identify, detect, and also deter. Because one of the main uh, issues that we have is um, compliance. You know, we're not, we're not here to um, there's no way we're going to inspect every container, but if, if they know that the, we have uh, the, the resources and, and the equipment to go out there and to identify a potential uh, risk uh, that could pose a risk to the island, that, um, that we, would, we would hope that um, um, companies are, are compliant and, and following the law. It's just one of the many tools customs officers use to protect Guam's five borders. The Guam International Airport Authority, the air cargo facility, the commercial port, post offices, and Anderson Air Force Base. In addition, the customs canine unit assists in sniffing out drugs and keeping them off Guam's streets. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Crystal Paco.